The Gospel According to Luke, Chapter 13. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said to them, Suppose you that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell you, no, but, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen, on whom the tower in Siloam fell, and slew them, think you that they were sinners above all men that dwelled in Jerusalem? I tell you, no, but, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. He spoke also this parable, a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon, and found none. Then said he to the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none, cut it down, why encumbers it the ground? And he answering said to him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it, and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that you shall cut it down. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And, behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said to the people, There are six days in which men ought to work, in them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him, and said, You hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall, and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, see, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Then said he, To what is the kingdom of God like? And whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took, and cast into his garden, and it grew, and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged in the branches of it. And again he said, Whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till a hole was leavened. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching, and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then said one to him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate, for many, I say to you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up, and has shut to the door, and you begin to stand without, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us, and he shall answer and say to you, I know you not from where you are. Then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in your presence, and you have taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not from where you are, depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when you shall see Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets, in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. And they shall come from the east, and from the west, and from the north, and from the south, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And, behold, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. The same day there came certain of the Pharisees, saying to him, Get you out, and depart hence, for Herod will kill you. And he said to them, Go you, and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless I must walk today, and tomorrow, and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which kill the prophets, and stone them that are sent to you, how often would I have gathered your children together, as a hen does gather her brood under her wings, and you would not. Behold, your house is left to you desolate, and truly I say to you, you shall not see me, until the time come when you shall say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord.